Hey guys, Steve Welch here with Beamer Toyota in Nashville, standing in front of two brand new 2024 TRD off-road, same trim level, Tundras. The only difference is the color. And well, one other thing as you might have noticed by now is the gray one on the left here, or right as you look at it, has a factory three inch lift kit. So that's the only difference between the two if you're, you're just kind of glancing at them there. But you got a factory lift kit on this gray one. The red one has your standard lift kit. So uh, Toyota does a lot of stuff when it comes to making a vehicle that uh, people want to take off-road, that people can drive on-road, that's just, just making it reliable, safe, and making sure that it performs the way that you want it to perform. And a lot of the stuff they've learned, part of Toyota Racing Development, which is what TRD stands for, um, with the Baja Racing, stuff like that. Obviously, they learned some things from NASCAR for a lot of the other stuff for that. But um, so this is a kit that was meant to do a couple of things, all right? So uh, number one is they wanted to make sure it looked good, all right? So you got a three inch lift on the front, a two inch lift on the back. So they wanted to make sure it looked good. And then obviously they wanted to make sure that it was it was functional and it didn't change the overall driving dynamics of the vehicle. So um, they want a lot of times when you put a lift kit on a vehicle, you find out that it changes the safety systems. It makes things not work properly. Um, it's, uh, you know, sensors, you know, have issues, stuff like that. Well, Toyota wanted to do a factory lift kit that would have the same driving dyna dynamics, wouldn't make you feel overly top heavy, anything like that, of course, but would keep all of the safety systems to where they will function exactly as if there was no lift kit on it. And Toyota succeeded with this kit. So um, this kit's a, uh, like I said, it's it's three inch on the front, two inch on the back, but it's a three inch lift kit, right? So um, there's no compromises, right? So they didn't want to compromise any of the safety, any of the features of the truck to put a lift kit on it. So um, now what they've done is if you actually kind of take a look at the front, if you take a look at the front of these two trucks, you'll see that the, it's a little different. I'm gonna kind of get down here and give you guys the best look I can give you here. So um, it changes your approach departure and breakover angles by about five degrees as opposed to the opposite side, right? Um, to to the, the one that you're looking at on your left as you look at it here, right? So. Um, so five degrees, um, so it says approach, departure, and breakover angles by five degrees, one degree, and two degrees respectively. All right, so uh, approach is five degrees, departure is one degree, two degrees for breakover angles. Um, and we got Americans saying hi. Um, but it says it gives it the improved off-road capabilities to tackle the toughest terrain. So um, it also says with this kit, you can use a larger diameter tire so it, uh, it's something that if you wanted to put a bigger tire on it, you could definitely put a bigger tire on it. Um, and uh, it, it can give you to the level of performance you desire, of course. Um, this is that while many drivers take their Tundras off-road, they'll still spend times on asphalt. So your Bilstein shocks, which are right here, uh, if you take a look on the inside, you'll see this is part of your double wishbone suspension that's in the front. But your Bilstein shocks that are up here, that, I mean, that's gonna help you with your, that make, you know, it's just going to be smoother, right? It's just going to be a smoother ride. Um, but you also have a multi-link on the back. So Toyota did away in 2022. They changed the, the suspension and they went away from the leaf springs into a multi-link in the rear. And then they went away with the way they used to do the front. And they went to a double wishbone in the front that just gives you a better, a better ride, right? Um, and uh, United wasn't going to be left out either. Um, anyway, so... <laughs> Now, if you come over here and you take a look to see the uh, the other one, you can see it's a lot, lot tighter in here, right? <laughs> but a little different look on the shocks. Still a multi multi link in the rear. It's still a derby wishbone in the front. And I'll and I'll try to get under here for you and see if I can't do that for you guys. Um, I kind of got to angle this right so you guys can see the look a little bit up, a little bit down there. I don't want to bounce you around too much, but. You kind of get the idea it's a little tighter on the one that's uh that's there so um so now if we come back over you'll see that the it's, toyota says the bilstein shocks are critical all right now your upper control arm that's right there so if you want to know what your upper control arm is that's this right here that's your upper control arm um and uh it talks about that so it says forged steel upper control arms 
uh, redistribute forces. They're extremely strong. We wanted to maintain the in, the day-to-day um, -day ride quality and give drivers the best of both worlds, both on-road and off-road. And that is a Roush forged upper control arms. And it says it provides undeniable strength, right? Um, and it's, you know, obviously Roush is known for, you know, performance, of course. So um, that's, uh, you definitely got to figure that's right. So now uh, the, the the three inch TRD lift kit's been thoroughly vetted and put to the test to meter exceed Toyota safety and quality standards. The only kit that's validated to be compatible with Toyota safety sense. So push the limits. It says TR, en TRD engineers. There's Southwest, not to be left out. TRD engineers use computer simulations, on-road testing, make tweaks, crash tests, make sure everything's compliant, no corners cut, no compromises. All of the products are the highest quality, systems integrated. The suspension geometry is done properly. It's how we know the lift kit should be done and it's how Toyota does a lift kit, right? Um, so now keep in mind, so you can get this kit to do this to your 22 or your 23. The cost of that kit is $39.95 plus installation. So if you do the installation yourself, if you're capable of that, then obviously that would help. But if you pay somebody to do it, you're gonna probably double that cost or, or even more, I would guess. So, um, but if you get it as the factory kit, it's $39.95, 24 and up, right? So uh, two, 2024 and up, it's 39, or it, sorry, $39.95 for a 24 or newer tundra so um, i've got a lot of people that are like man i gotta get a new one <laughs> that that's possible right so maybe you just want to go ahead and get a new one now uh, i do have some of these coming in i have some coming in that are not spoken for yet i have one that's landing that is not spoken for it's in the same color as this one this particular one is spoken for but uh you know like i said i've got more coming but um it like i said it is sexy right and i'll kind of give you a look underneath it here and um you guys can take a take a shot and see what you what you want to look at underneath here i'm not sure uh how good of a uh look i can get you from down here but definitely uh take a look but and then we'll pop over to the other one <laughs> which is your trd off-road with the standard lift and you'll see a little bit different there a little bit different shock system there But, uh, and then I'll show you from behind because I know somebody will ask. So we'll start with the other one here. By the way, it does also say that the, that you can use bigger tires. Um, Toyota recommends that you don't go larger than a 285-65 R20 uh, or you could have rubbing issues. So, uh, so 285-65 R20 to make sure you don't have any, any kind of a rub that could happen. And we'll show you the underside back here. And we'll pop under and obviously you can go back and pause or rewind the video for anything uh, that uh, you might want to see that's a little different there we'll just kind of give you some peaks back here but so there we go so tell me what you guys think so you want the lift kit you like it um the price of it's not bad i i do think that uh adding it to a current truck might be a a little bit cost prohibitive but that's to each his own right so um but uh having it already on a new truck i like that idea especially when the factory does it too it's all covered under factory warranty so you don't have to worry about uh somebody having done something wrong or something along those lines but uh what do you guys think so steve welch from beam toyota in nashville if you guys are looking for one of these definitely reach out to me at buy a toyota nashville at yahoo.com buy a toyota nashville at yahoo.com Tell me what you guys think about this. You guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.